Hi, I'm Mitch Holcomb. And I'm Riley Renfro. And today we're going to talk about the PVD 21500s, one of Vermeer's latest innovations, and how to set it up. The PVD 21500 breakout tongs have a multitude of uses in the field. Those include breaking and making up drill rod, breaking off both PDC and tricone bits from the front of dual rod houses and mud motors alike. Just some basic information on the PBD 21500s. The grip range of the tongs is based on which set of dies is used. There's two sets of dies that cover from three and a quarter all the way up to five and three quarters diameter. The 20 foot hydraulic hoses allow the operator to keep the power pack out of the hole. The power pack includes two 28 volt Milwaukee batteries. On the side, you will find a guide on how to adjust the pressures based on the size of the pipe you will be breaking out. Instead of using pipe wrenches to break off PDC bits, Vermeer now offers two different PDC inserts, one for two and seven eighths API and for three and a half inch API. As you can see on screen, here's the two part numbers that are available. Each size is sold separately from the base model and are compatible with the PBD 21500. The same goes for tricone bits. There are three different sizes of bit breakers for tricones. 5 to 5 and 3 quarter, 5 and 3 quarter to 6 and a half, and 6 and a half to 7 and a quarter. These bit breaker options replace one of the arms from the main unit and slide over the tricone. Extra dies are available for purchase to cover your entire fleet's breakout needs. The dies are compatible with rod sizes 190 through 2 and 3 quarter. First determine the diameter of the rod or the head that you're breaking off, and then select the corresponding die. Use an Allen wrench to open the die inserts on the arms. Insert the dies in the slots and retighten the bolts. To set up the arms, loosen the retaining bolt of each arm to allow it to unfold. Then wrap the arm around the pipe. Fold the arm back over itself and tighten the retaining bolt once again. Remember, the arm doesn't need perfectly tight as the arms will tighten on themselves over time. To set up the piston and power pack with the hoses, simply slide the piston into place and at both attachment points on the arm. Next, attach the 20 foot hydraulic hoses to the power pack and the hydraulic cylinder as seen here. Calibrate the power pack, identify your thread's makeup torque, match that with the graph on the side of the power pack, and then set your pressure and you're ready to go. If you have any questions about how you can purchase this or need more information on the product, please reach out to your board store representative today.